Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of July, so stick around. So I was able to see at least one movie a day during the month of July. I was able to see them at home. I was able to go to the theater and see quite a few. And there was actually a few streaming films that I was able to watch. So today I'm going to go over all of those titles. Um, I'm going to be using my Letterbox account. So if you'd like to follow me, um, follow along with me on my Letterbox account, I do have that link down below. But we're just going to go day by day. And um, first up, I watched All of Us Strangers. This right here was a film that someone had recommended that, that I check out. And really, a really good film. I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a different type of film. I gave it three stars and a heart. I don't want to say too much about it just because of spoilers. But if you have the opportunity to check this one out, definitely check it out. I do know that it's going to be getting a Criterion release in the next few months. Um, so whenever you do get a chance, um, please just check that one out. Okay, the next one I was able to watch was in the theater. I watched A Quiet Place, day one. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. It wasn't as good as the first two, in my opinion. So my ranking would be part one, part two, and then this one. Um, but I am glad that I saw it. And I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, if you have the opportunity to check it out, definitely check it out. Um, next up, I watched Alone. This right here was another recommendation. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, it's a very simple story. And one that I think, um, if you like a thriller type story this right here would be one that I would want you to check out okay next up I watched Beverly Hills Cop Axel F um, I really enjoyed it for what it was I gave it two and a half stars and a heart um, I enjoyed Beverly Hills Cop 1, 2, and 3 and to me I thought this right here was a good little continuation um, I don't think that they should really be doing any other Beverly Hills Cop films I think this right here was probably unnecessary um, but still I enjoyed it for what it was um, next up, I watched No One Lives. This right here was another recommendation that someone um, thought I should pick up and check out. I really enjoyed this one. This right here was a really good action thriller type film. I gave it three stars and a heart. It's got Luke Evans in it, I do believe. But one that if you haven't seen, definitely check that one out. Okay, next up, um, I went to the theater again and saw Maxine. Overall, so I gave Maxine three stars and a heart. Overall, it was okay. I really enjoyed the first two, so my ranking of those would be one, two, and then three. Also, Maxine, I may have had a better experience if the theater wasn't as crowded. I had everybody bumped up against me. Didn't really have room. Um, it's always distracting to me whenever there's a theater full of people. But overall, I did enjoy the story. I think I'm going to just need to revisit that one. Okay, next up, I watched some of my Criterion titles since there were, since July was Criterion Month as far as this Barnes & Noble sale. I did watch quite a few. So I watched 45 Years. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Um, pretty basic story. I think this one was a little bit of a slow watch, um, but this would be one that I would recommend people pick up um, during the next Criterion sale. Or even if there is not a sale, I would recommend it. Um, another Criterion release that I watched is Dogfight. I really enjoyed this one. This right here has Reaver Phoenix and um, what's her name? Lily Taylor, which I recognized her from the Conjuring film. But anyways, I, I like this one. This right here is a coming of age story. Kind of a bully film at the beginning. But then some regret, and then I think uh, an honest, um, true romance type film. So I did enjoy that one. I would recommend people check that one out. Um, next up, I watched My Life as a Dog. This one here I gave three stars and a heart. But to be honest with you, I don't remember the film very much. I think I was watching too much at once. I don't remember what happened in this film. It looks vaguely familiar, but I gave it three stars and a heart, so I must have enjoyed it. 
I want to say I see this little boy on here. I don't know. I just don't remember this one. I'll have to do some more research on that one. Okay, next up, I do remember this one. I watched Peep and Tom, the 4K release. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. I liked it overall for what it was. Um, the story, the story is pretty good. It was really dated, which kind of took me back. But overall, I think it was a good film. I don't know that I'll be revisiting it anytime soon. But still, I'm glad that I have it in the collection. And I did enjoy the watch of that. And that, was, that would be one that I would recommend. Okay, next up... I got this 4K release for Rescue from Gilligan's Island. It had been years since I'd seen this one. The last time I saw this, of course, was when it was on TV. And I gave this one one star and a heart. So Gilligan's Island is not the best of what you would call um, filmmaking. But overall, it's very nostalgic. I did enjoy it. Um, it's always nice. I, I do enjoy Gilligan's Island. And so I'm happy that I was able to um, watch this one in 4K. Not the best, not the best edition. Okay, next up I'll watch The Price We Pay. This one right here was pretty good. I gave this one three stars and a heart. Um, it's got Mill Hirsch in it and Stephen Dorff. It is, I don't know, it was kind of a weird story. Um, but very interesting. It's, it, to me, it was like a little thriller. It felt kind of low budget, though. But overall, I think it would be one that I would recommend. Okay, next up, I watched The Gentleman. I had never seen this one before. I had started watching the, I think it's a Netflix series, maybe, or maybe Amazon. Um, but I wanted to see the film. Overall, I liked this one. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Um, it wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't terrible, and very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, next up I'll watch La Femme Nikita. I had never seen this before, and when I got the still book, I wanted to check it out. So I finally was able to watch this one. I did enjoy it. I gave it three stars and a heart. I think it had great performances. Um, I had seen Point of No Return before with Bridget Fonda back when it was first released, and I know that that film was based off of this one. And sometimes whenever I watch a reboot or a remake prior to watching the original, for some reason I always seem to enjoy the remake better. Um, I don't know why that is, because I think this right here was probably a much better film. Um, but overall, I think the film The Kid is a great film. I enjoyed it. I gave it three stars and a heart. Okay, next up I watched another film in the theater. I watched Kill. I gave it four stars and a heart. I really love this film. It is a... Um, it's a foreign language film, action, um, it's on a train, lots of things happening. There's a, a love story in there. It's um, got a lot of emotional parts to it. Um, highly recommend you check out Kill. Definitely looking forward to seeing that one again uh, when I get a physical media release. Next up, I saw another film in the theater. I saw Long Legs. I gave it four stars and a heart. I enjoyed it overall for what it was. Really good little thriller film. I enjoyed the performance. I enjoyed the eeriness of it. I know people either loved it or hated it. To me, I think I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to having it added to the collection. Okay, next up is another film that had been recommended to me. Um, I want to say La Chimera, or however, however you pronounce it. It's a foreign language film. I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, this is another one that I don't remember much about. I'm looking at the back to see if it jars any memories and it does not. Um, but apparently I liked it. It's probably one that I need to research again. For some reason I just can't remember this one. Okay, next up, and I think that's a, I think that's a symptom of me watching so much throughout the month because I do watch a lot and it is hard to keep these movies separated. Sometimes I really connect with the film and then sometimes I don't apparently. Okay, next up I watched Arcadian. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this one. This is the creature feature. Um, it's got Nicolas Cage in it. Fun story. Fun creature effects. Um, I highly recommend you check this one out if you've never seen it. Okay, next up I watched another streaming documentary this time. I watched I Am Celine Dion. Um, people have been talking about that one and I needed something different to watch. Something to watch other than a film. 
and I really enjoyed it. I gave it two star, two and a half stars in a heart. Um, I, I've always enjoyed Celine Dion's music, and the documentary was pretty interesting. I didn't realize that she had been going through all of this, um, so I'm um, happy to have watched that. So I finally watched Cocktail. I had never seen this film before. I gave it two stars and a heart. It wasn't my favorite Tom Cruise film, of course. Um, it had some parts I didn't really care about. But overall, I think it was a pretty um, interesting film. I, I would love to see it get a nice 4K release. Okay, another film that I watched is an, uh, another streaming movie called Faux, which is a science fiction type film, a drama. Um, it's got some weird aspects to it. I don't want to say much about it. But if you have the opportunity to check out Faux, definitely check it out. I give it two stars and a heart. Um... I hope it does get a. I hope it gets a physical media release because I would love to own it. Okay, next up is a was a new release during the month, and that is the last stop in Yuma County. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart. Really love this film. It's pretty much set in one location. Got some really great, um, really good story elements to it. Some action sequences. Performances were great. I really love this one, and highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up, I've watched the Twister 4K release. Um, I had seen Twister in many, many, many years, and I wanted to check that one out before the Twisters film came out. So I watched Twister, loved it, gave it four stars and a heart. Highly recommend you check that one out. And then I went to the theater and watched Twisters, which I gave four stars and a heart. I also enjoyed it. I loved what they did with the story. Um, you do not have to have seen the first movie to see Twisters, which that was nice for those that didn't see Twister yet. Um, looking forward to getting Twisters um, released when it comes out. Okay, next up, I watched The Cured. I gave this one two stars and a heart. This one has um, Ellen Page in it. It is about a group of people who were infected and they became zombie-like creatures that would kill and then there was a cure for it and so the people that had been zombies that were killing there's a bunch of people who had family members loved ones that were killed by these creatures and now they're having to live amongst them so there's like a, uh, a little civil war kind of thing going on between the two groups and so it's more of a drama than it is a horror film um, but very interesting story. Like I said, I gave it two stars and a heart. Okay, next up, I watched The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. I had never seen this one before. And I'm glad that I finally took the time to watch it. Um, it does have John Wayne and James Stewart in it. I gave it four stars and a heart. I really enjoyed it. I love a good Western. I love the older Westerns. This one um, is, like I said, it's from 1962. So it is an older one. Great performances and highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up another Criterion released. I watched To Die For. I had never seen this one before. I do enjoy um, Nicole Kidman as an actress. I think she does a great job. I gave that one three stars and a heart. To Die For. Um, I saw it. I don't remember much about it. I'm trying to think To Die For, what that would mean. I don't know. I do remember enjoying it. I just don't remember the story too much, so I'll have to I'll have to check that one out again. Okay, next up, I watched Blast of Silence, another Criterion release. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart. It's an older film. Um, this is from 1961. It's a film noir type film. I really enjoyed it. If you like film noir, um, definitely check this one out. This would be one that I would highly recommend. Okay, the next film that I watched is A Creature Is Stirring. A Creature Was Stirring. This one I gave one star, no heart. I didn't really care for this story. Um, I didn't care for, I didn't care about anybody in the film except for maybe two people. I didn't care for the main characters. The story was kind of off. They ended it very poorly. I could not recommend this one. Beautiful slipcover though. Um, check it out if you will but I do not recommend it. Okay, next up, I watched Till Death. 
with Megan Fox. Really enjoyed this one. I gave this one two stars and a heart. Great storyline. The first part of the film, maybe the first 30 minutes, was slow, but it really got interesting. Um, poor performances, but overall great story and some good action. So I would definitely recommend you check that one out. Next up, I saw another film in the theater. I saw Deadpool and Wolverine. I gave it three and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed it. thought it was a lot of fun. I was able to see that one in IMAX 3D, which is the way I would recommend people to check it out. It has some real good characters in it. Um, I'm not really going to talk about the film at all, other than I enjoyed it. Looking forward to it. I did get some um, popcorn buckets. Some I, I always like to get the merchandise. Um, but definitely check out Deadpool and Wolverine if you have the opportunity to see that one in 3D. Definitely see it in 3D. Okay, next up I watched Snatchers. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. <clears throat> this right here is a comedy horror type film. Coming of age film. Pretty interesting story. A lot of fun to watch. Highly recommend you check that one out. Um, next up I watched The Wrath of Becky. So I really enjoyed Becky when it came out. And we only got the DVD release for The Wrath of Becky. This one was a little bit of a letdown. Overall, it was good enough. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I wished it would have been more. It lacked a lot of the things that I enjoyed in the first film. Um, so it was a little bit of a letdown. Okay, next up, another Criterion release. I got Risky Business. I gave this one two stars and a heart. It was not my favorite. Overall, I had never seen this film before, but I think for its time, it was a good film. It did bring back a lot of the 80s for me. Overall, though, I didn't enjoy the story element of it, um, so I don't know that I'll be revisiting that one any anytime soon. The next one that I watched was another um, streaming film. I watched Kodachrome based off of a recommendation. I really enjoyed it. It's a family um type story where um, a estranged son connects with his father who is on a journey. I'm not really going to say much more about the film. It's one that I would recommend you check out. I hope it does get a physical media release. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. One that I would definitely recommend you check out. Next up I watched The Wall. Um, I've been wanting to see this one for a while so I finally watched the Blu-ray. It's got Aaron Taylor Johnson and John Cena in it. It is pretty much of a is another one location type film. Um, I gave it two stars and a heart overall. I think it was an interesting story, but a bit too long for the story part of it. It kind of drug, but I do see why it did. I think a lot of it was pretty much a. Um, I think pretty much it was based off of the actual time frame that was going on. So as you're watching it, everything's going on kind of like in real time, except for a, a few moments where it was off. Um, but overall, an interesting story. And then the last film that I watched during the month is the first time watch of Purple Rain. I had never seen this one before. I got the 4K still book. I wanted to check it out. I get, don't hate me for this. I, it wasn't my favorite film. I gave it one star, no heart. I do not want to, I do not care to revisit it anytime soon. I really enjoy the music because I grew up listening to this music. Um, but as far as the story element of it, I did not like. The performances were very weak. Um, it was kind of hard to get past the poor acting. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that I finally watched it. So those are all the films that I watched during the month of July. Hopefully you were able to see a lot of films. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you watched during the month of July. And also give me some recommendations of films that you think I should check out during August. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time.